Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Hyper 212 Evo. So this is a meant to be a amazing heatsink for your computer. So we're going to be testing it out today and seeing what temperatures we do get from this heatsink. But first let's unpackage it. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. Okay, so we've got a little box at the top there, and that's the box empty now. So we've got our heat sink, as you can see there, with the fan on the top. So we've also got, that's nothing. So we've got the power cable there, and as you can see, there's the fan and the heat sink. So that looks absolutely fantastic that looks really really good so i'm just going to go ahead now and pop that out of this plastic container so there is the heat sink that's what it looks like underneath we've got a please peel off um, label before you use it which is obviously what you would do because you don't want to go putting that on the processor as it might burn so we got a nice big fan on there and to be fair, the heatsink it's not actually too big. It's quite it's quite small. It's it's alright. It's not too bad. So that's going to fit nicely in my machine. So that's the heatsink and the fan. So what else have we got? So we've also got this is going to be the back plate. So this will go on the bottom of the motherboard. It's supports up to quite a few processors um, um i mean motherboard so support sockets to 2011 um hyphen v3 and the 1151 so it supports two socket sets so that would be a amd socket and a intel socket so that is your back plate. So let's just put that down there for a second. And let's have a look at what's in the box of mystery. So just open that now. So we've got our instructions here. So our Hyper 212 Evo user manual. So I'm not going to be needing this. But if you do, then you do have a few pictures there of instructions on how to fit your heatsink. So that's really handy that. That's that's good and it's also got instructions for AMD so we've also got our warranty that's in the box so now we have this is um, to attach the heatsink to our back plate so we need to keep that to one side so as you can see back plate then that just it simply kind of goes something like that and hold the heat sink down so let's just put that there for a second and let's see what else we got so we got some plastic clips in here as well so I'm not too sure what they do at the minute but I'm sure I will find out later and we've got a few screws nuts and um, thermal paste so we got um Cool master thermal paste, so that's good. We got nice branded thermal paste. So that is the unboxing of the heatsink. So we're now going to take a look at my temperatures before I put on this new heatsink and the temperatures after. Okay, so as you can see, this is my temperatures at the minute with the standard heatsink on um, that comes with the i7-2600K. So my temperature is currently sitting at 40, I mean 51, 51, 48 and 50. So that's not too bad, that's fine. But hopefully after fitting this new heatsink, that is going to drop like flies. It is going to drop a lot. So I'm not going to bother running any... Um, any stress tests or anything because I just wanted to see what the idle temperatures are so that is it so next up we have our new temperatures for the heatsink okay so I've now fitted the heatsink and as you can see my temperatures are now down to 32 and 35 
fake three and fake six. So as you can see, the heatsink has made quite a bit of an improvement there, which is good if you want to overclock your processor. So I hope this little video helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.